So you wanted to find out how to get started with a name tip hosting. So whether you are launching your first website or looking for an affordable hosting solution, Namecheap offers a variety of plans to suit your actual needs. So let's walk you through the basic of setting up and managing your website with Namecheap hosting. So first of all, I'm gonna sign into my Namecheap account. I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description so you can have a great deal uh, when you create an account with your Namecheap. So just use an email as well as a passcode to verify that and then you're actually good to go. Let's go here into Namecheap and click into this logo and we're inside the domain section of the online stuff. So the very first part of what I'm going to do of course is to choose a hosting plan. So first let's navigate to the Namecheap website as we are now inside here and click into the option that says hosting here. So here you can find several types of hosting options, including the shell hosting, there's the BPS hosting, there's dedicated servers. So usually for most beginners, shell hosting is adequate and the most cost effective. So we can select a plan that fits your website needs and proceed to the purchase. So usually everybody, let's say, set up a website in less than two minutes with an easy WP added for WordPress would be really easy, BPS, shared hosting. So let's say that I go for something affordable today and I go for the shared hosting. So the shared hosting is gonna be helping to do stuff fast, securely and affordable. So there's all the hosting plans for almost any budget. You can focus into the style up, into the teller close, all the style of business. Now, in order to continue, let's register or transfer a domain. So during the checkout process, you have the option to register a new domain. You have the option to register, transfer or an existing one. So what we can do is to use a new domain so we can search for one directly through the name tip. So complete the domain registration process along with your hosting purchases. In this case, we're actually using the easy WP. It can help us to make the hosting inside WordPress. And the website name, for example, what is the actual name of your website name? What would you like to use or do directly into your website? For example, having a personal website, share ideas into a blog, sell online, explore the application, communicate for professional web, communicate a product, a hobby, food, travel, or promote an actual event. And lastly, go and go for canteen. In this case, it's gonna be asking us to choose a domain. You can choose a domain from EasyWP with your domain into Namecheap or to use a domain on the other provider. Choose the one that best suits for you and choose the plugins which you'd like to install directly into the hosting. For example, the Joost CEO, they can help you to optimize the WordPress website. The WP 101, they can help you to get started with some video for beginners and the breezy website builder to design a website by dragging and dropping with this ease of use visual website builder there's so much more elements that you can get started in. into adding those elements and hit now into continue now we can install wordpress or another cms so most websites today are monitored by with a content management system, which is CMS. With the WordPress being the most popular from the C panel, you can scroll to the sub focus application, install the section, and click into WordPress or another CMS if you prefer, and follow the prompts to install this. In this case, this one has been done automatically, and we can make the administrator of the WordPress and the managing of that. So the process includes setting up the administrator username, passcode and our website-based configuration. And if I go for the WP administrator, this one should be sending us directly into the WordPress editor dashboard so we can get started with the connection. Now, lastly, you don't have to be worried if you go directly into the WP administrator and this actually won't let you get started because the connection is not private. So this happens because you don't have any SSL configuration and there's, of course, not certificate validated. So this happens a lot because your website is not been created and set it up yet. So you want to make sure that here into the actual overview, you want to go directly into the SSL certificate and managing so you can activate this manually. This might be taking up to one or two hours in order to get active so you can get started with the certificates and of course go out and look out for the WP. So guys, with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video, guys. You're now ready to grow your online presence with a name chip hosting. As you can see, it wasn't that hard to get started. So Namecheap also offers excellent customer support. So don't hesitate to reach out to them if you run into any issues or have questions along the way. 
If you find this guide helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials into web hosting and website development. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, with all that being said, you can see you through a brand new section of textbooks. See you next time.